If you see, look at the, the China Daily, the day after the fall of Kabul, the, the message to the Taiwanese people was, do you think, do you really think America has your back? You know, deterrence is capability times will. And I think what makes this time very dangerous is many of our adversaries think our will is down to about zero. And so it is an extremely dangerous time that we're entering. And it's really to restore deterrence by by convincing the Chinese Communist Party, the People's Liberation Army, that it cannot accomplish its objectives vis-a-vis uh, -vis Taiwan through coercion or the direct use of military force. A lot of the actions that the Biden administration is, is undertaking are positive in that connection. The strength of the Quad, the AUKUS agreement, and I think especially the arms sales to Taiwan and the encouragement of the Taiwanese armed forces and Taiwan Taiwanese leadership to make Taiwan indigestible to the People's Liberation Army. But of course, there are a range of actions that China can take below the threshold of what might elicit a concerted military response from the United States and, and our allies and partners in, in the region. And I think we're essentially in a race. We're in a race to, to restore deterrent capability across the Indo-Pacific and, and oriented on Taiwan already. I think the, the point of maximum danger is next year uh, after the Beijing Olympics and after the Communist Party Congress uh, in 2022.